Welcome back to Channel 44, where today our show will decide if you should be the best or the rest. I'm your host, Lander. Leaders, followers, they're all the same. But what distinguishes a leader? One stranded survivor will live to tell the secrets of becoming a leader over FaceTime. Please welcome Ralph! Ah, hello! Is anybody there? Sir, you're on the air. Oh, hi there! You say you were once a leader before, right? Of course, on that boat shaped island. Do you mind telling me what happened back then? I don't mind. I do have to warn you though. Some parts are a bit blurry to me. Uh, uh, hang on. It all started with a plane crash. I was a fair British boy who met a piggy. I kept joking around with Zazma, squatting water at him. Uh, the boy was already so serious. Ah, uh, we found the conch together. Hmm, hmm, somewhere. Ah, uh, he told me to blow in it. Uh, like, <laughs> then I heard a bit of singing from somewhere. People walked towards the sound, ranging from little ones to big ones. But the one who stood out the most was Jack. That's fine by it at first. I was chosen by leader, by my slaves, parents, and nobody cared if Jack was on C sharp. Everybody helped to build the shelters in the beginning, but when his hunters left, Simon and I were left to build the second shelter all by ourselves. <coughs> Jack and I agreed that his hunters would keep the fire burning, but the piggy's classes were used to start it. <sighs> by the time the ship sailed by, fire was out. I learned that I had to reinforce the rules a bit. With meetings, I have set that incident and adjust our priorities in order to get some things done. Until <laughs> Jack went hunting for beef. I lost on my head when I hit the pig for the first time. Then uh, the more concerning thoughts went through my head. We can't leave the little ones alone with Piggy. I, I think. After Jack took his hunters and created their own tribe, after our argument some time, uh, they raided our camp, with the remaining who stayed along with me at night, and stole Piggy's glasses! Uh, he saw me as a light at the end of the tunnel, so my memories are growing hazy. I will never forget those radical times. Sorry, the rest is blurry to me. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we have another question coming from our fan base. If you were to go back in time and take a part in a major event in history, what would that be? Easy! The Civil War! Our teacher used to talk about it all the time. About Abraham Lincoln and his quarter of Polish slavery. The time was around 1817. He lived with his family at a young age, but he As time went on, mother, son, sister, all died before him from natural causes. Later on, <coughs> in life, he took on many jobs and enlisted in the Black Hawk War in 1832 to later practice law with William Henderson who, in terms, was sort of like his partner. Uh, Lincoln was experienced in court cases, but takes it one step further by presenting speeches such as the Gettysburg Address. As time went on, the assault on Fort Sumter would later start a civil war in April 12, uh, 1860 something. Lincoln did a series of actions most without the approval of Congress, separated the North and the South. This war would rage on for about four years until ending in uh, April 9th, 1865. When the war ended and everything sort of settled, he was assassinated by uh, 
Don Wilkes Booth for having such radical thoughts. Whoa, I am surprised. You still remember all of that? I can see the correlation between both you and the Civil War. Uh, Ralph, you could express your thoughts and speeches, even though some states will feel threatened by your empowering words. Ah, but your experiences will make you shine, and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes like last time. You give people hope even during the darkest times, which will make you a very char charismatic leader. <clears throat> Pardon my English, so to say. Well then, thank you Mr. Ralph for joining us, and thank you viewer for watching channel 44. Oh my god, what's happening? Hang on guys.